Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on the thermal expansion induction smelter. Now this is a pretty cool thing to use because it sort of, I would say, replaces the pulverizer and the, f well, the redstone or powered furnace depending on the version that you're using. So it's handy for several reasons. Well, one reason, mostly. It can give you slag, which I'll explain in a second why that's handy. So as usually we've got power, inputs, outputs, and tabs and stuff. I'm not going to do something worse with that, just quick, quick. Now, one of the possible advantages that you could see is you need to use sand in conjunction with the things that you want to cook up. But as you can see here, we got slag. And the slag can be used to make rock wool, which is similar to wool, but not quite. I'll do a different tutorial on that. You can also use iron ore with sand. So as you can see, that will cook quite a bit slower. But this gives you a 20% chance of rich slag. Now the rich slag, which, well, we'll come back to the rich slag in a second as well. I'll just leave this to cook off since it'll do it. Now... As you can see, oh, this thing accidentally replaced the sand. Just put sand in here. Now it is it is easy to automate. I just didn't really set it up properly, so that's sort of my fault. Now we haven't gotten any rich slag as well, so I'll quickly pause the video and I'll come right back. Okay, guys, so so I am back. That intro was well. The second one was a little bit bad, sorry about that. So I've got some rich slag, I just cheated it in, as you can see here, because I'm too lazy to actually try and wait for it. So I just quickly went to take a look at the normal slag. You can actually use this for quite a bit more things than what I thought you could. So I'll definitely take a look into that. But as you can see here, you can take an, the ore block and put some rich slag with it. Now instead of giving you two pieces of like ironing it, this will give you three pieces and it seems to have a definite chance of giving you slag. So you could just use the slag, well, the rich slag that you get instead of sand and then you could just like smelt of 10 stacks of say something cheap like tin or silver and then just use it on your gold. So when you've got lots of gold. Also, what this machine does is if you use pulverized obsidian or um, pulverized lead, you can also do this with a lead ingot. This gives you hardened glass. Now the hardened glass is used in quite a bit of recipes that this mod requires. So I'll probably take a look into that as well. But that's about it for the induction smelter. It's fully automatable with Minecraft, Buildcraft, or its own pipes. Ob obviously with its own pipes. But as you can see here, I've cooked off quite a bit of iron. And I haven't found a single piece of rich slag yet. Which is why I think I'm doing it wrong. Because apparently you have a 20% chance of getting rich slag. So, that's really it for this machine. As usually you can click the recipes to see all the recipes that you can get. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this, this tutorial informational as well as fun to watch. See you guys in the next video.